Hi everyone, I'm going to give a demo of using the seating tool. I have a basic stage room set up. It's about 80 feet wide and 100 feet deep with a stage uh, here. Um, there you go. So let's say our fire marshal requires us to have um, six foot aisles all the way around. I'm going to draw a line that I can use as a guideline here and now I can move it six feet, minus six feet there and I'll move it uh, into the middle so it's spanning my room. Um, now I'll draw another line from center line all the way down here and I'm going to move it uh, minus 36, 0, so it's on that side of that aisle. And now I'll draw another line over here along the wall and move it uh, 6 feet in from the wall. I'm going to select both of these lines here and use the mirror tool and mirror from center line. So now I have my center aisle, I've got my downstage walkway, and I've got my wall walkways over here. And I can put in one more here at the back of the room. Uh, one more line here at the back of the room, like so. And move it um, six feet up. So this is my seating area. Now I want to put in seats about halfway back. And then I'm going to put tables in the, in the rear of the house. Um, so what I'm going to do first is pick a rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle that fits into this area about that much and go up here and use the event design and then creating seating section uh, tool here out of that rectangle. Now this crosshair that just showed up, you'll see the first time you use this tool, it'll pop up a note saying click where front where the seat should face. I've already said I don't want to see it again, so that's why I'm not seeing it there, but that's the front. So here's my seating section settings, and I have here what the layout's going to look like. And in this case, I have a table set up, because the last time I used the tool was the tables. So I'm going to go up here and choose a chair. Let's do the, that second chair. This represents how the chairs are laid out. So in this window here, we have a few things that we're going to look at. These five elements over here, arrange, section, information, limits, and so on. We have in here seat spacing and row spacing. We have over here what the layout will look like, and here we can click on use actual symbols. It gets really crowded, and it does slow down the machine a little bit, but I'll just to show you, I'm going to put some seat spacing between the seats, two inches, give people some hip room, and 24 inches there for some leg room. Terrific. And uh, I'm going to turn this off so it speeds up the machine a little bit. Section information. This is my house left seating area. I'm going to number the seats and I want to number them from the center aisle. So I'm going to number them from uh, right to left and they're going to start at one and I'm going to use just odd numbers. So I'm going to increment them by two. I'm going to number the rows. So that's A, 1, 3, 5 and so on right there. Limits we'll talk about later, but you have some limits if you want to limit how many seats per row or per section and so on. Um, angle, if I had uh, an off angle or I wanted to make them face a different angle, we could adjust it like so, um, which is pretty handy depending on if you're doing a thrust and so on. But here we're just going to use zero degrees. And I hit enter, which closed the box. So here's what my seating looks like. And here we've got uh, A1357 and so on. So that looks like it worked out pretty well. Now, the Object Info Palette gives us some, some information. We have 171 seats in this section. Okay. Um, we're going to assign the seats. We're going to change the class of the seats down to Seating and Chairs. Rounds is for dinner tables. Chairs for plain chairs. There we go there. Uh, we have some, uh, we have text options here where we can add text and see what we have in our seating section. I'll just light up all five items. I'm going to make them bigger, 16 points, and I'm going to make them bold. And we can grab this uh, symbol over here. I'm going to change my tool back to the select tool. And I can select this little blue handle there and drag it right there so we can see what we have. House left, 171 seats, uh, the measurements and so on. 
and so that's laid out there. Now we have the stay the house right area to deal with, so I'm going to simply duplicate this seat. I have uh, the whole section. I'm going to hit Control D for duplicate, and I'm going to move it over. There we go. And here it shouldn't be house left because we want house right. So up here in the object info palette, we're going to replace that here. There we go, house right. But the numbering is off. So we're going to go back to here in the object info palette and hit settings. And we're going to change section information. Instead of left to right to left, we're going to change it left to right. And instead of starting at 1 for the odds, we're going to change it to 2 so it starts with even numbering there. And I click OK. And there we go. We have A1 on the left and A2 on the right. So that's our seating sections. Now, in this particular template, I've created a report that gives me an automatic uh, counting box here. And I did this before with the previous drawings. So that's why it says 56. I'm going to right click here and click on Recalculate. And now it tells me that I have 171 seats in each section. There are no tables. Let's add some tables. So in the back of the theater, or the back of the event room, <clears throat> I'm going to draw another rectangle, right about like this, and choose my tool again, event seating section, focus towards the front, and choose tables. I'm going to choose uh, the rounds. Let's do uh, these guys right there. This is the spacing of them. We've got to give them some space. So let's say 24 inches. And uh, I can tab down to here for 24 inches or I can just tell it to link it and it'll copy it. 24 by 24. Um, so there are those measurements. So now I'm going to click OK. I have six tables here. Over in the Object Info Palette, we have uh, this alignment type, Shift Rows, which is for regular seating. I'm going to change it to Distribute Rows, which will space out my tables better. Uh, I'm going to change the section name to uh, House Left Tables. Here we go. We've got that there. Now I'm going to go back to my window and choose my selection tool. I'm going to hit duplicate and I'm going to drag this over to the other side. Oops, I didn't duplicate. There we go. Try that again. There we go. Now I have two of them. Now let's go over here and click on this. Right click. Recalculate. And now you'll see that I have house left tables, 60 chairs, and 6 tables. Well, let's change the house right tables to house right, HR. There we go. We'll go back here, right click, recalculate. And so now we have house right tables and house left tables. We have house left um, just chairs. House right, just chairs, and then the tables, we've got chairs and tables. Now taking this one step further, I have a pre-built layout for my seating layouts. Right here, here's my sheet for the seating, and I have um, a copy of the report sitting here in the upper corner, right there, and here's my seating layouts. And I probably want to... Um, edit my crop a little bit. To better fit what I have in the room. There's that end. And we'll include the chairs there. And the stage. We'll right click and edit annotations. And we'll pull in my little scale title block drawing label. And then I will click on Exit Viewport. And I'll pull this down into the drawing. And there we go. 
The last thing I'm going to do is go back to my seating sheet and I'm going to get rid of these guidelines which I no longer need. And I lied. The last thing I'm going to do is add a dimension This says 6 feet 10 and 7 eighths. I'm going to get rid of the fraction. 6 feet 11. And let's just edit it because I'm picky. There we go, 6 feet 10. Now, if I really just wanted 6 feet, I could also draw myself a marker line of 6 feet. I'll just do a quick little box. Let's do 6 feet. There we go. And I'll grab the middle and I'll move it to the center line. And I'll grab this seating section and I'll move it to kiss the side of the box. Grab this seating section and I'll move the seat so it kisses the side of the box. And now I have exactly six feet between them. And I'll change the dimension. side to there. I missed it. There we go. So now I have a six foot center aisle. The outside aisles will be a little bit uh, bigger because I moved them in. But there is my seating section and seating layout along with my seating couch. Hopefully that was helpful. The next tutorial will be editing the shape of these seating layout boxes. Have a great day.